Hi folks, Dr. Bob, how's it going? It's, uh, you never heard me say that before, but that's how you say hello in New York City. I don't know about the rest of New York, but I lived in New York for many years and, um, and that's how they say hello. You walk into a restaurant or a bar and you walk in, you say, hey, how's it going? And they're gonna say, this is a native New Yorker. So there you go, how's it going? I actually love New York uh, at this point, which is, uh, you know, 2023, I wouldn't step foot in New York if my life depended on it. It's out of control. I mean, I lived in the 80s and it was dangerous, but now, uh, forget it. Anyway, what I wanted to do in this video is talk to you about publishing scams. Now, I published a whole bunch of books. I just published my ninth book. Uh, I don't have it here right now, but it's on spirulina and chlorella exclusively. And um, it's called Spirulina and Chlorella, the King kings of all superfoods and that's what they are there's nothing better so that's my ninth book i've published some other little things you know like pamphlets and stuff like that i don't consider those my books but this is my best-selling book it's in third my third edition to be honest i've lost count how many i've ordered uh, this is third edition so um i i probably have sold close to ten thousand of these books just this one book and i never really marketed it but recently i began marketing a little bit on Amazon, where else you're going to sell books these days? Um, you know, well, anyway, I, I did some marketing on that and some advertising, and now I'm selling. I'm selling around 50 books a week can, with can, all my books, all nine books. Most of them is that. And then this book, my silver book, uh, the silver, the, infection, the end of infectious disease, disease uh, how I got meningitis and I cured myself of that. <clears throat> I used a little silver. And it's pretty amazing what happened. So I recounted that in my book. It happened to me for a reason. Uh, Confessions of a Bodybuilder, that's my very first book. Uh, this is second edition. Um, I'm going to do a 25th year, 25th year, 25 year an an anniversary next uh, year because uh, it'll be out there 25 years. I can hardly believe it. And I've sold um, probably five, 6,000 of those books through the years. Um, but I've never really marketed it before. But I'll tell you the scam. So I got involved, I wrote one book. And now if that book is titled, I don't know if I have that one here. I don't, um, here it is, The Temple. This is my temple book. So the temple he was referring to was his body. So this is honoring the temple of God and, Nate, um, uh, and uh, God's path to disease free living, what the scriptures tell us about health. Um, you know, a Protestant guy kind of helped me with that title. It's not a bad title, but I like this one a lot better. But it's the same book, essentially. I mean, I updated it each time, but it's the third edition. So. Um, I had, with the second one, um, God's Path of Disease for Your Living, I had uh, this Westbow Press division of Zondervan. So you, what you do with that, and they get you in there, and I got to tell you something. They didn't scam me. They didn't. It, it was a ripoff. I spent $20,000 for next to nothing. I mean, they gave me a nice cover. I designed the cover. I don't have it here in front of me, but I, it's a great-looking cover. I did that. I mean, you know... And they didn't give me any credit back for it because they didn't have to design a cover. And they design nice covers. You know, that's what they do. They're professionals. I mean, so what? You know, I mean, it's not, it's really not, you know, your cover has got to really say something. I mean, that's fruits and vegetables. It's got to be on the front cover. Uh, water. You know, water's got to, if you're going to do a water book, it's got to be on the front cover. You know, if you're going to do science fiction, don't do some weird symbol on the, on the book and nobody knows what it is. Science fiction books are certain types of books that people are you know, that people are going to look for when they see a book like that. You know, same with a romance. You see two people kissing at, on a beach, you know, it's a romance novel. It's not a health book. So you kind of got to do that. But for all the money I got from Westbow Press and all the marketing they did, they did nothing. They just, you need to market. You go, you need to sell it. Well, what did I pay you $20,000 for? It was a total, it was a total ripoff. They, you know, and they're always, do you have any more projects? They're always contacting me. Well, Anyway, in this world, in the publishing world, as I continue to learn through the years, never been traditionally published because I don't want to give up my, my copyright. I don't want to give up my rights. I want to own the book. You know, a friend of mine years ago uh, called him Sprout Man. It was a <clears throat> uh, Merowitz uh, and uh, great guy. We, we were really kind of good buddies because he was the only one that I knew and that he knew that we were both authors. And so... Um, you know, he told me about all the stories, how he'd lost his his work, he'd lost his intellectual property, he'd lost the copyright, and they kept it, and they wouldn't print it again. He went to one publisher, they published a book, and he goes, okay, now let's start talking about marketing, and they said, marketing? All that money's been spent. Really? So he goes, this is a traditional publisher, so he's lost, you know, the, the copyright, he signed that away, 
And, uh, you know, so, and then he lost the book. And uh, so this is what they do. And he goes, what did, you mar- what, what did you spend marketing on? I mean, they couldn't even tell him. So they just squander whatever they promise they're going to give to you. And if you're not a well-known author, they don't put you in there. And there's, there's a whole other scam going on with Audible. I have five Audible books. And they're really hard to do, but I did them myself. You don't have to go pay somebody if you don't want to. Just read in your own voice. If you really don't have a great voice or you can't do it, well, don't. don't. But it takes time. It takes a lot of concentration. It's really hard to do, read a book. I mean, some people are naturals at it. You would read these live on air. So you just had the knack for it. Um, concentration, that's what it takes. So um, that's one thing you can do. But, you know, there's a big, you know, they're only giving you like 40% of your money in Audible. But the other thing is I get these calls all the time, and I've spent some money a few times, and it's just a scam. I don't even call it a ripoff. It's a scam. There's a ripoff with it's not worth what you paid for, and then there's a total scam. I get these calls constantly to sell that book, God's Path of Disease for Living, because it really got out there because who I, I went through Westbow, a, a lot of people read it. I got reviews. You know, they don't do you anything. I mean, I never sold many of that uh, those books. Um, we'll see how I do with this new one, uh, the Temple the Temple book, which is about honoring the temple God gave you. But I'm constantly getting, and they want me to go invest in these books, book fairs. And, uh, you know, they want five, $6,000 to put your book up there. Well, you know, is somebody going to buy all your copies? Are they going to do anything for you? No, it's really not. And um, so, it, you know, there's really a lot. And there's, some, like I said, there's out and out scams. One time, I mean, they just, you send them money and, and they just want more money and more money and more. They take up to the next level, the next level. You know, I spent a little bit of money in the beginning with some of these. I don't want to say how much. It's kind of embarrassing. It's not a huge amount of money, but it's like, wow, what did I do that for? Same with, same with Westbow. I mean, it's like, what did I do this? I thought they were going to market my book. I thought my book was going to go mainstream. I thought I might get a, like an, a traditional publisher and actually get, so because I write really well books. I'm not, my writing, I'm not worried about. Like a lot of writers, they're worried that, well, you know, they are, you know, uh, you know, really can't write and your writing's not that good. My writing's great. I'm, I'm positive of that because I've been doing it my whole life. I know how, I have a degree in journalism, so I know how to write really clear declarative sentences. I kind of like Hemingway, you know. Um, I did write a book of fiction, uh, my book of fiction, and um, that's really literary fiction, okay, as literature, okay. That's like, I'm not comparing myself to him because I never would, but you know, like Stephen Crane, Hemingway, Joyce, James Joyce, um, you know, all those, you know, great writers like that, you know, Faulkner, Dostoevsky. Now, I don't want to put myself in that league, but that's literature, okay? I'm not, this isn't just like fun fiction or romance fiction or that. It's literary fiction. It's, it's the kind of stuff that you really got to really work and work and work and no one ever reads it other than like scholars. So it's that kind of stuff. But it's really well written. This is a really, really well, well written book. So I'm not worried about that, but getting it out there. So you don't want to give it to a publisher because they're just going to take it and who knows if they'll do anything with it. But there's so many scams in the book world. And there's all sorts of channels on YouTube. This is not one. Well, this is a health channel. But there's so many, there's so many um, great videos. They're mostly women doing these videos, almost all of them that I see, that do this stuff and they write these books and they give you all these tips and they tell you, go to Ingram Sparks, they'll pu- publish your book for you or print it. I don't call it publish. They'll market it. They'll get you into places. You know, another scam that I had is this place called Barnes & Nobles. I mean, I stopped selling to them so many years ago because they just wouldn't pay me. You know, they owe me, owed me a $1,000 and they just wouldn't come up with the money. They had a really strange system, like we want 55% of this, you know, and, and that was okay, so we're giving you this many dollars. They just ref- they would go on and on and on. They would fax over these orders. Uh, they might have improved now, but they ended up stiffing me for a 1000 bucks. so I kind of stopped using Barnes & Nobles because, you know, but Amazon, they pay. Uh, you might not like what they pay, but um, unless you can get your own book author, um, you know, website and start doing it that way, it's really, really, really hard to get your books out there. But people do it. They got this thing, like you write 20 books and you get $50,000. You think about it, 20 books, that's a lot. I mean, some people can really just write books, you know. I could do that if I wanted to, honestly. I, I could just sit there all day long and just write and write and write. I'm a really good writer and I could write all these kind of books, but it's not, for what? I don't want to write books for money. I want to write books to teach people things. And that's, you know, that's my literature books. I mean, that's my, that's my, it's my hobby. I mean, it's not, but all my health books, again, I got nine health, well, not eight health books and one other book. 
and uh, and so I want to try, I want to get people to learn something. You know, I'm a 33, and 33 is like to teach people things, and that's what I do. So um, the scams that are out there, I'm telling you, in the book world, they are everywhere. They want to take your money, put you into these book fairs, and you're never going to go anywhere. You're never going to get anything at a book fair. The chances of you seeing anything, you got to market them in a different way. It's a really tough world. Publishing is a very tough business to get noticed. But, you know, I'm doing my best, and I appreciate anybody who's, um, you know, put it's in the links below. But where you can get my books, of course, Amazon.com. It's, it's Bob McCauley, ND, and Audible. I'm all over Audible. Five books. And I've sold hundreds of books so far. So that's good. You know, I look at some of these books that really, like this guy, Coons, with a Z, K and a Z on the end. He writes, I mean, he makes so many. He's got 50,000 reviews. I've hardly got any. It's all about marketing. It's all about getting out there. If they took these books and they put them out there, and this is the latest book, and I was in Barnes and Nobles, and books a million, and I went in and there was a, I'd be selling a ton of them, but not. But watch out for the scams. If you get into book publishing, they're always going to want you to spend a thousand here and a couple thousand there. It's all worthless. Don't do it. Dr. Bob, Bob McCauley, the author. See you next time, folks.